A couple days ago, I'm driving in Washington, D.C. If no one has ever been over there, Washington, D.C. has a lot of streets where the posted speed limit is about 30 miles an hour. In a lot of places, it's 25. So I'm driving, and as I'm driving, I'm looking at my phone, I'm putting in the GPS to the place, and then at a light, I'm just looking up the story that I'm gonna vlog about. And so just kind of getting, you know, the names in my brain so that I don't forget while I'm talking. And this black guy, probably maybe 50 years old uh, in a BMW, not a nice one, just like an older one, like maybe a 2005 BMW. My windows rolled down and I'm not even looking at the light. I'm kind of like looking down and I'm looking up. And this motherfucker says to me something about not looking at my phone or texting while I'm driving. And as soon as I look up to look at him, he took off and the light turned green. Now, my first reaction is going to be like, what'd you say? Like, I, I want to hear you tell me. Like, I don't want you to tell me anything and then drive off. I want you to tell me what you said. And I'm 42 years old, so I'm trying to not be how I was when I was younger, where it's like, I want to react quickly because I got a short fuse. So I'm driving down the street that's 25 miles an hour speed zone. And I said to myself, I said, all right, this is what we'll do. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do what I would have done 10 years ago. And that's go chase him down. Go chase him down, pull up to him and ask him to repeat himself. So I said, this is what we're going to do. I'm not going to speed. I'm just going to drive how I normally drive. If he happens to catch a red light up ahead, I'm going to pull up to him because I want him to be a man and tell me to my face. And if we need to pull over on the side somewhere so he can get out and I can get out so he can tell me to, I'll do that too. I'll do whatever it is you want to do when it comes to something like that. It's, it's all up to you. Uh, whoever sees me, you know, road raging uh, in public or if you know me from YouTube and you don't like something that I said, it's always what you want to do. So I start driving and I see his car and he's, he's doing about 45 out of 25. I said, I'm not going to go chase him. I'm not getting a ticket. I was wondering to myself, I said, if I were black, right? If I were like dark skin, would he have said that shit to me? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I think a lot of times, uh, black people will say shit and I, I, and I, and this goes for everybody, really. This not just black people. It's everybody. You'll say stuff to somebody that you wouldn't necessarily say to somebody else. Is my GPS on? It better not be on while I'm doing this video. I have a rule, and I say this oftentimes in my stream. If I won't say it to your face, I'm not going to say it online. If I seen you in public and I wouldn't say that to you, to your face, then I'm not going to say that on a video. I don't treat women any more differently than if they were a man. For instance, if a woman cut me off in traffic, I'm not going to say something to her or cut her off that I wouldn't do to a man. Same thing as if I'm in a store. I don't care if you're an old white man or a, or a young black uh, thug looking teenage gang banging motherfucker. I'm not going to say it to you if I'm not gonna say it to everybody else. That's just how I live my life. So I just, you know, thought like after, you know, he pulled away and then I went to where I was going, how does a grown ass man live with himself being a fucking coward? How how do you do that? I don't understand. Like, how do you live with yourself doing coward shit like that? If you to say something to somebody and then drive off, right? You, you, you got to think to yourself, "Wow, I'm a pussy." You know, why would you do that though? Why would you say anything to somebody and then just drive away and then have them want to chase you and because for all he knew, I could be insane. I could have a gun right under my seat and a bullet with his name on it. He doesn't know, just like I don't know him. I could have pulled up to him and he could have just uh, pulled out his gun and shot at me. You don't know who you're fucking with at the end of the day. Uh, and the same goes for both of us. We don't know who each other are. But uh, 
I don't know. One thing in my life I've never been. I'm not a I'm not a thug. I'm not crazy. I'm not like down for whatever. Uh, but I ain't no I ain't no fucking coward. I ain't no pussy. And I just I was just thinking, how do you how do you do shit like how do you just pull up to somebody and say something and just drive away? Like I don't get it. I couldn't I couldn't do that. Like if I'm if I'm not gonna tell you it to your face, man to man, toe to toe, I'm not gonna yell it out of my window and then drive off like a fucking pussy.